Who knows, we might be going up into the sky. Michael Whitney is a heating and cooling service technician. He's been in the industry for a few years, and he says he owes it all to Manchester Community College. This is one of the only um, schools around in the area that offers uh, a degree in HVAC, so I could come out with uh, an associate's degree. Whitney completed the program and now works for Dowling Corporation in Portsmouth. Pretty much everybody that is over there working has come to this school and, and gone through this program. Um, so it, it makes for a great working environment there. MCC is part of the New Hampshire Community College system, which consists of seven colleges and three academic centers. The schools offer a wide range of associate degrees and certificate programs and serves approximately 27,000 students annually. 40% of them are over the age of 24. I went in it with my eyes open. I'm not going to tell you I wasn't scared. After 25 years, Vicki Carter needed a change. That's what led her back to school. I came to Manchester Community College because, one, it's affordable. I, they provide a quality education. And most importantly, they have a dual admission program um, with Southern New Hampshire University. Students can transfer their credits to a four-year college or university to complete their schooling and receive a bachelor's degree from that school. Just one of the benefits of going to a community college in New Hampshire. Staff say affordability, growing online options, strong connections with industry partners, and a more robust campus life that includes clubs and sports is drawing in students of all ages. Enrollment within the community college system has doubled since the year 2000. We don't offer uh, housing, but other than that, we offer everything else. We offer athletics, we offer excellent quality programs across the board. The system saw consistent growth from 2001 to 2011. Since that time, the upward trend has leveled off, but the amount of students enrolled is still historically high. Over time, we have seen a significant increase in younger students coming out of high school wanting to start with us because they eventually want to end up at UNH or Granite State or SNU. David Harding is one of them. I could have went to other universities and played basketball, but I decided to come here. Harding is attending Great Bay Community College and is playing on the school's new basketball team. I'd be paying 10 times more if I went to all the other schools. So and it's like the same education, if not better. Harding says small class size was also a draw, something that attracts many people, including these two biotechnology students. Both will be graduating from Great Bay this year. They would let me go at my own pace. I could do night classes, I could do day classes. Um, it was convenient on the seacoast, so very close to where I live. The program is comprehensive, giving me the absolute insight that I required into the biopharma industry. And the main aspect was it was very affordable for me. The cost to go to a community college in New Hampshire is approximately $6,000 a year. The state has frozen tuition for the last three years, and the system is growing. An academic center will be opening up in Lebanon in 2016. Reporting in the studio, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.